Hey guys, what's up? This is Agatardi 2744 and today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to activate iOS 5 beta for your iPhone only. Unfortunately, there's not yet a pass to activation on the iPod Touch or the iPad. If you guys are interested in seeing a pass to the iPhone, I mean the iPod Touch or the iPad, uh, please be sure to go ahead and hit that subscription button above. If you subscribe to the channel, once there is a pass for the iPod Touch or iPad, I will be doing a tutorial over that as soon as possible so you guys can go ahead and get hands on how to pass the activation on iOS 5. Now basically what you have to be so far on your iPhone is you have to have iOS 5 on your iPhone and you'll find an error in which states uh, iOS 5 developer account needed, whatever, you know, your iOS device is not activated yet. You need to activate with a developer's account in order to move on. Uh, and you'll see a try again button. And like I said, you have to be to the point where you already have iOS 5 on your iPhone. If you aren't to this point already, there's a video tutorial by me in the description below. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, it'll show you how to download iOS 5 and iTunes 10.5. And then it'll show you how to go ahead and put that on your iOS device. It's a simple tutorial if you guys haven't gotten there so far. So I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to pass the activation error on iOS 5 beta. I'm talking about the screen where you walk through the setup and you get done entering your Wi-Fi. And then an error message will pop up saying you need to have an activated iOS 5 account. Uh, in order to do this, there's six simple steps. I won't be able to actually show you hands-on with the iPhone, unfortunately. So basically, I'm going to have the instructions on the screen here with step one through six. And I'll also be walking you through this. And if you miss any of the instructions, they will be available in the description below. So first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is on that screen where it has the try again button, go ahead and triple click the home button. and It'll activate your voiceover. Second step is to triple click the home button again and it'll activate your emergency call. Once you see the emergency call, go ahead and click the emergency call and while it's switching, swipe your three fingers down. This is where most people mess up. They don't do it while it's switching. If you don't do it while it's switching, it's not going to work properly. So you want to go ahead and swipe your three fingers down and once you do that, the notification center will appear. Once the notification center will appear, you're going to go ahead and see the option to view the weather. You want to go ahead and click on the weather widget. Uh, the weather will load then the weather application. You will go ahead and show your weather. You want to go ahead and click on the home button from that application and it exits to your iPhone springboard. And it's as simple as that. That is how you activate your iOS 5 on the iPhone only. Unfortunately, like I said, this doesn't work on the iPod Touch as well as the iPad because you have to have the emergency call option. I want to go ahead and thank you guys all for watching this Agatardi 2744. For any questions, comments, or concerns, please be sure to go ahead and state those in the comments section below. Please be sure to go ahead and thumbs up this video. If you enjoyed it, follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well as subscribe for more of our iOS devices. Thank you guys for watching this Agatardi 2744.